whether or not Hive is going to be a conglomerate will be announced in May 1. According to the media, on April 8, the Fair Trade Commission determined that the fair market value of Hive assets are over 5 trillion won or 3.7 billion US dollars. That meets the criteria for designation as a publicly disclosed business conglomerate. Hive's total asset for 2023 was 3.9 billion US dollars or 5.35 trillion Korean won. Aside from the net worth, a conglomerate is a business made up of several different independent businesses. One company owns a controlling stake in smaller companies that each conduct businesses' operations separately. Hi! I just made it back from watching August D's tour, D-Day the movie, and my original plan was to do a raw reaction or review. But I'm a little too overwhelmed. I don't think I'll find the words. I'm just gonna embarrass myself. <laughs> so I'll just do that later. I don't think I'll find the words. So I'll just do that later. I'll do this first. This is a request. Um, several of you asked some questions like, but the basic idea is what's the implication of Hybe becoming a conglomerate? This is actually not new. We've, we've been hearing about this since 2023 and there have been like online discussions about this. So I'm surprised that this it just caught on and I guess it's because of the announcement of the Fair Trade Commission. So, all right. If you ever, if you find that this video is helpful, please uh, click like and subscribe and hit that notification button so that you know there's a new video getting published and um, share the video if you can. It's really helping my channel. All right, on to the video. How can Hi be a conglomerate? All of their businesses are connected to music. This is a common misconception. If a singer sells shirts, that's a different business. If they sell food, that's a different business. If they sell IP, again, that's a different business. And each of those businesses is controlled by a different government body. The next question is, other management companies from SM to YG to JYP to Starship all sell merch. Why aren't they conglomerates? Because you need to have diversity of businesses and achieve that net worth. Hybe has other businesses that other companies never went into, at least not yet. We versus actually one. If you haven't really watched it closely, it has become an interactive streaming platform. And just because most of the artists on Weverse are musicians doesn't change the fact that it is a streaming platform. But soon it's going to become a retail online store, something like Amazon. They have gotten into the metaverse and NFTs, that would be tech. They are a production company now with their first show youth. They also have enough global operations, Hybe America, they have established an office in Japan, and of course, Latin America. So Hybe actually meets not just the minimum amount of assets, but also the requirement to have diversity of businesses. Does this mean BTS is now a chebol? In South Korea, a conglomerate system is actually a chebol structure. Chebol is actually an English transliteration of the Korean word chebol, which means plutocracy, rich business family, or monopoly. Does this make BTS a chebol? Well, BTS should own Hybe. They built that freaking business. Every inch of that building, all the benefits other groups are enjoying wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for BTS. BTS, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, does not own Hybe. Big hit maybe, but not Hybe. BTS are not chebols. Well, at least not yet. Maybe in the future, who knows? Any one of the members is actually smart enough to get it done if they want to. I don't know if they want to though. Okay, now what does it mean for the groups under HYBE? The effect will be indirect. HYBE will be subjected to stricter rules in accounting, auditing, how they do business, etc. For example, a conglomerate offers economies of scale. That means the holding company or the mother company can actually serve all the other independently run businesses under them. Thus, the cost to get something done is way cheaper. So for example, if Hybe has a manufacturing company, they can manufacture goods for Adore, Big Hit, Source, and other companies under Hybe. It will be cheaper since it's an official partner. 
Hyde may also establish contacts with a retail store, hotels, venues, and others, and haggle for a lower price because they will bring more business. So the cost of doing business becomes cheaper. Thus, revenue goes up. Now for the disadvantage. What is the disadvantage of being a conglomerate? It is almost impossible to have a horizontal structure. There will be lack of transparency, corporate culture issues, mixed brand messaging, and moral hazard brought on by too big to fail businesses. When you are managing a big business, you want to keep growing. The owners or the higher ups won't always know what's happening at the bottom. You're always one corrupt or immoral manager away from a scandal. They better have some airtight screening system for their employees. So is this a good or a bad thing? It really depends on how you look at it. Chebols, a term that I am sure you hear a lot of times if you read or constantly consume Korean content, are big business conglomerates in South Korea. They make up about half of the country's stock market value. Usually, they include affiliated companies and are mostly run by a single family dynasty, often starting with the group's founder and then it gets passed on to the son, grandson, or whatever. This family setup allows relatives to hold management roles, so they usually hold power over a single company for long periods of time. While the founding families may not always be the majority shareholders now, they typically maintain a connection to the Chebols. About two dozen of this family-owned Chebols are well known in South Korea's economy, with giants like Samsung, Hyundai, SK Group, and LG Group leading the pack. These companies are crucial for South Korea's accounting for over half of its exports and large portions of their country's foreign capital income. A lot of Koreans feel that these chebels make it harder for small and medium-sized businesses to grow because they monopolize the market. That's why new companies rising to their ranks should be good in theory. Small businesses growing big take some of the market share away from these big companies in South Korea. Now, some people feel that BTS has become capitalists. I have bad news for you, pal. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Who is the artist that you like? What management company you like? All of them are capitalists. South Korea is a capitalist country. If you want to do business in that country, then you are a capitalist. They sell their music, merch, and likeness in a free market. There is no going around it. Again, that is not just BTS. It's everybody in the entertainment business in South Korea. Not all capitalists are bad though. Will prices of concert tickets go up on all high groups? Prices of tickets are going up regardless. And I have one word for you, inflation. $100 last year, I can fill my car with gas twice, full tank. Now it's just one and a half if I'm lucky. On your screen are prices of basic grocery items going up, inflation. It's a bitch. Keep that in mind. Your $100 today will only be three-fourths as powerful by next year. So yes, ticket prices are going to go up along with grocery items, rent, gas, healthcare, clothing, every item or service that's going to become more expensive. A conglomerate may help control the prices to a certain extent, at least in some businesses. As I've explained earlier, they should have economies of scale. If they strike a deal, for example, with Target, a retail store in the U.S., let's say the deal states Target will get all high merch exclusive for two weeks. This is just an example. Then probably they can haggle the Target, actually give them a discount on their fee. So yes, in theory, they can keep it controlled. But that really depends. A lot of stores in the U.S. are losing money because shoplifters can't be arrested anymore. I don't know. Since BTS is under Big Hit and Big Hit is a private company, how will this affect BTS? Each time BTS members walk, a red carpet will be laid down on their path. A crown will be put on their head and they will wear a mantle made of 24K gold and 10K diamonds sprinkled with amethysts, rubies, and pearls. When they yawn, a special flying bed designed by people from 65 planets away will swoop them away and cradle them through the clouds until they need to pee. That's how it will affect them. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
Come on now. Creatively, we should know by now that BTS controls their own narratives and creatives. It is their call if they want to do something or not want to do something. I really doubt anyone can and will dare to pressure them into doing something they don't want to do. Financially, as I've said, if things become more efficient, they should benefit more. Also, BTS is under big hit. A conglomerate owns different businesses operating independently. Big Hit operates independently, like Adore or Source Music. The biggest difference is that Big Hit is a private company and Bang Shi Yuk set it up that way to protect BTS. This should be an inspiration, not a cause of division. BTS is the beginning of all this, the Omega. If it wasn't for BTS, there wouldn't be hype. Seven men who were ignored and underestimated when they were starting. Seven men who had less than two rows of fans in their first music show. Less than a hundred people in their fan meet. Who were almost kicked out of their apartment. Planted a seed for a company to become a conglomerate. They did it. Others can do it too. Of course, it wouldn't have been possible without the business mind of Bang shi I fully trust BTS. BTS was able to concentrate on their art because there is a man who looked after their well-being, took care of business. I firmly believe that BTS wouldn't have renewed their contract with Big Hit if they did not trust Bang shi BTS knows ARMY will go wherever they go. They won't have to worry about that. They are smart men who know their worth. Nobody forces them to do anything they don't want to do. What this should be is an inspiration. Big hit proved it can be done. So let's hope more entertainment companies follow suit. Let's hope that other artists take inspiration from this and realize that with hard work, talent, and the right partner, they can wield their own power and influence. And just like BTS, someday become seniors that will also inspire younger artists. I first heard about Hype getting reclassified as a conglomerate last year, and maybe mainstream media picked it up now because the deadline is approaching. But I'm surprised with the amount of hate that BTS, Bang shi and Hype are getting. And I spoke with some of my Korean friends, did some of my of some readings of my own, including the article that I showed here. And I learned that hating on the rich is actually innate in Korean culture because they feel they they believe that you won't become rich unless you do something bad or something illegal or something immoral. They explain to me why or where they coming from, so I will not speak of their culture. I'll just speak of my personal experience. I used to think and look at money as a limitation because I came from a very poor family. I thought that unless I have a lot of it, I won't be able to do the things that I want. And so I tried to have as much of it as I, as I can. It made me do a lot of stupid things in my life. I hated people who had it because I wanted it. <laughs> it was only when I recalibrated my view of money that I realized money has no innate power. It's people that are giving it power. Money does not make people. It does not change people. It is powerless. It's an inanimate object. It's just how we trade. So I just need money so that I can pay my bills and support my family. That's it. And once I started getting in that frame of mind, I started becoming more comfortable with it. I felt comfortable talking about it. I felt comfortable earning it. I'm, I feel comfortable using it. I felt better. I became better in budgeting it and using it so that I can have more of it. And I'm not ashamed of it. It's just, as I've said, I need to earn it so that I can support myself and my family. And I feel like unless these haters that are directing their hate towards BTS, unless they change their perspective on wealth, then they will continue this kind of attitude towards wealthy people. It's just, uh, you hate something that you think has power over you. In this case, it's true for them. They hate it because they think money has power over them. And so they hate people who have it. But it's nothing special. I'm not impressed by wealth. Somebody can come in with $10 billion, I wouldn't even care. I'm impressed with people who are doing something substantial in their life. There is this girl in Ukraine. Uh, she has a channel on YouTube and she's just rescuing dogs. And then there's this guy who's rescuing dogs in Thailand. I'm so impressed with both because they're doing something substantial that's actually, that actually has a positive impact in their society. And so this, I think they need, these people that are hating, they need to just change their perspective on money. It's nothing. It's just a utility for us. It's just how we pay our bills. And for BTS, 
And for Hive, it's just a business that's expanding. They probably want to give opportunities, better opportunities to the current lineup that they have and to others that want to pursue a career in the entertainment or music industry. And if BTS members eventually want to have their own business, it's no big deal as well. It's just, I know a lot of multi-millionaires who don't even want to keep their money when they pass. They just like having it the same way people like collecting Barbie or Pokemon. They just like collecting money. Nothing special. It does not make people. It does not change people. It's people who change people. And so let's just, that's it. That's what conglomerate is. They're going to expand or whatever. Let's just leave them be and concentrate on what is important. And that is the music and art of BTS. We know by now that nobody can control BTS uh, and they have earned that, that independence. And for as long as they are there, then let's just continue supporting them. I hope that I answered all of your questions. If you have any more questions to ask, let me know. Just send it over. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please give it a like. Also, subscribe and hit that notification button and share the video if you can. Uh, the Patreon link is now there. So please, I know I someone told me that I keep on saying Patreon link and it's not there, but it is now there. Um, so please, please subscribe. Uh, and also on our other social media links that you see on your screen right now, especially on extra Twitter and Instagram for future projects. Thank you.